Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be reviewing Deathloop, the brand new IP from Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda. Now I'll be playing and reviewing this on the PlayStation 5 but I will mention a few things about the PC version in a bit as well but for the time being let's crack on and let's discuss what Deathloop is all about and what my feelings and feedback is about of this game. So first and foremost, you have two choices when you start the game. You either can be Colt and break the loop, or you can be Juliana and protect the loop, which I'll be getting into more later on, but for the time being, we're going to focus on Colt, and we're going to be trying to break the loop here today. So what is Deathloop all about? Of course, it's very simple in its own premise, in the sense of it's all about killing everything and anything in your path that stops you from trying to break this loop. So the idea is that you are in this loop, that you'll continue to be in this loop until you eventually break the cycle and get free from it. Now by far this game's strongest point is its action and combat. The guns all feel fantastic and with the use of the DualSense controller and the haptic feedback, the game feels very, very intense and very enjoyable to manoeuvre around, to use the powers and to use the guns all to your disposal in this particular game. Now of course you have your classic guns and then of course you've got your melee attack as well. So when you're really into it and you want to get right up and close and personal and give everyone a little bit of this machete, by all means go around spamming the R1 button and just bopping the hell out of all the Eternalists you can find. Now you have the guns from the LMGs to a little SMG to some decent pistols and then even a nail gun that can be used as a silent approach. The majority of this game is pretty much all hell, chaos and gunfire everywhere, but you can be a little bit sneaky every now and again, and for me this is what I loved about the original arcane games such as Dishonored. The idea of having so many multiple paths and different strategies to take down the main enemies in the game. Now the main enemies in the game are called visionaries, and these are sort of visionaries of themselves, part of the Eternalists that are stuck on the island of Deathloop, and of course this all comes to fruition towards the end of the game, and the more you continue to play them, the more you continue to kill these visionaries, the more sense it will make. A minor downfall with the stealth, however, is that this game is built with so much good ideas for the stealth, same as the Dishonored series, but it's probably not a good idea to go stealth, because although you might be able to get there, it's getting out, of course, if you try and shoot once, everyone on the screen is alerted, everyone around the surrounding areas, and everyone is going to come over and kick Colt's ass, so you've got to use every single weapon in your arsenal, everything you have to try and defend yourself against all these Eternalists. Now, of course, you can hide, you can try and do everything you can to just fight back, but ultimately, the best thing to do is continue to fight back and just kill every single person, because don't forget, every single person on this island wants you dead, and they will not stop at anything to make sure that Colt ceases to exist, and unfortunately, sometimes it gets a little bit too much and unfortunately you do meet your demise from either a externalist or one of the visionaries who's also trying to kill you so for, unfortunately for you my friend it's straight back to the beginning because you have just been looped hi guys and welcome back to another dot race video and today we're going to be we <laughs> got you there didn't i we have just been looped even in the video sense but of course when you do get looped it is straight back to the beginning of that day, the classic ground dog day thing, start up in the beach again and do everything once more. So this is your main hub area, so this is even after you go into the tunnels after a mission or when you get looped, you come back to this particular screen. You can check out your loadout, you can change the time and day, and of course you can go to your four maps from the complex, Updarm, Carl's Bay and Fristad Rock. Now every single map does change depending on what time of day it is. Only certain aspects of the game will allow you to do it depending on what time of day it is. So maybe there's a party going on at the later on in the evening in Updarm, maybe there's something important happening in the morning, but of course you can change this as much as you like. Now of course the premise is very much simple that it's a one day only to get everything done, but it's not quite that. Everything you have learned, everything you have experienced and picked up can be retained by going into the menu and infusing the gear with Residium. Now Residium is used to infuse gear and you can pick up Residium from dead bodies and certain items around the map. You can even pick it up from your own dead body actually. But importantly with the Residium, this allows you to infuse your gear. So if you like something a hell of a lot and you want to keep it for the next time you die or maybe for the next day when it starts over again, you want to infuse that gear so then you can keep it for the next day. It is vital that you have to keep going into here sacrificing items you're not using and just use all the residium because of course after every single day it loops again and then therefore you lose everything you may have already had that you have not infused 
Now you can infuse your weapons, your slabs, the character trinkets, and even weapon trinkets and slab upgrades. Now the slabs are basically the same as what Dishonored had in the sense of their powers. So your left-handed movement with the powers, such as things as Blink, has now re been replaced in this game with Shift, which for me is vitally important. Now of course, on your travels, you will be doing missions and side objectives to find very important weapons. So in this instance, we've found a wonderful sniper rifle that we'll want to keep. So therefore, I'm going to pick it up in this particular loop, infuse it with the residium that I pick up and maybe sacrifice some of the guns I like and therefore infuse it so I can use it the next day. So of course residium pickups are vital in this game and there's some little objects around the map just small things like this fan here maybe it's a smaller object maybe it's a larger object like this spool there are different objects in the world that will offer you some residium. Now there are a lot of items in this world, it's just a lot of looking around and killing certain enemies to find the right things that you want. But of course just because you lost it on one day doesn't mean you can't get it back. There's always other days that you'll be able to find something once again. Now I just want to touch base on the day and night aspect and show you what it actually means and how it impacts the game. So for example we're going to go now to this particular garage and try and get in. And unfortunately we can read the message and we're being told we cannot get in there until a later date. And also I want to check out this nifty little feature when I destroy this thing here. So I destroyed this electricity box in the morning and someone in the afternoon has left a note saying that we cannot have nice things because someone has destroyed it. I love that little feature and I really love the comedy in this game. There's the story and the writing for the characters is absolutely fantastic. I really, really love the sort of tay to tays between Colt and Juliana. Allow me to show you a brief clip. You ever get tired of not winning? I win all the time, dumbass. You don't, because even if you kill me... Which I do, constantly. I wake up back here the next day. You're only prolonging my stay. Mm -hmm. For a very, very, very long time. And even just Colt on his own when he's talking to different things. And here is a clip of him attempting to guess numerous and numerous times the password for this particular voice-activated lock. Propagation. Juliana. Usurper. Debarking? Mm, retroactive. Cheese wheel? <laughs> Skin flint? Chronological? Tourniquet? Female? What, what's the name of that? Uh, paradiddle? I iteration? Swine pox? Analog? Long johns? H hardwire? Sp Spatoon, like that word, spatoon. But even the enemies around the map just talking to themselves or talking to each other about specific plot points and even little things and details that could help you with your missions along the way. Now I mentioned at the start of this video the two ways to play this game so you can break the loop as Colt in a single player aspect and protect the loop as Juliana online killing the other players. Now unfortunately I'm not really a multiplayer game, I much prefer the single player aspect of any game including Deathloop of course, but this is me attempting to find a game online just for you guys so I could find out what the multiplayer is like and I waited here for ages just trying to find a single enemy in this game which I don't know if it's due to the PS5 shortage or just not many people playing this game. I spent 20 minutes looking for this enemy who was just sitting here right at the beginning of the game and unfortunately killed me anyway. Not very much enjoyable for me in the sense of the multiplayer. I tried a few games and every single one of them were the same where someone would just hide and I couldn't really find them. Now of course this can happen to you as well. You're in single player, you're doing your own thing, and you have been invaded. Juliana is on the hunt and on her way to kill you, so hack the antennas, get to the tunnels and get out of there, or stand your ground and fight her as much as you can, because of course this can be an online player, or this can be just an artificial intelligence coming in to beat you up, and of course it doesn't really matter which is which, they're both going to be very hard and very overpowered, and they're usually probably going to kill you, so reprise if you have any left, Get out of there and get into your tunnels and get to the safety because of course you don't really want to fight Juliana under equipped or under leveled. I would advise getting back and fight her another day or oh, the same day because of the loop. So all in all guys this is pretty much covering the basics of death loop but it fortunately it's not really much more than that. Now the game is somewhat ironically repetitive but it kind of works for this game. It's a little bit slow to start off with but ultimately I think I've enjoyed my experience and I think I've given you guys the, the rundown of what Deathloop is all about. Now Deathloop does have a lot more to offer in the sense of powers, more weapons and slabs etc and trinkets but I didn't want to go and show you everything here today because I feel like the game does a good enough job in allowing you to experience it yourself in that way. 
But I will mention once again, I absolutely love the voice acting in this game. Colt and Juliana are played perfectly. From Colt's frustration and exasperation of not understanding the loop, so Juliana constantly nitpicking everything you do. It's very engaging and entertaining, but this game, as I mentioned earlier, it is ironically repetitive and sometimes feels a little bit too repetitive from going to the same areas at the same times. Constantly going to these generators and powering them up with the batteries, that got a little bit tedious. But unfortunately, there are a few parts that you will be replaying over and over again. But don't get me wrong, that's the way the game was intended to play. But the combat and constantly leveling up and using different powers does give enough of an incentive to continue to play and fight through the repetitive areas. I don't think this game is going to be for everyone. Some people may be put off instantly by it and some people are going to love it. I guess it's going to be one of those things that you just kind of have to take a chance on. So that's pretty much it from me, guys. I very much enjoyed my time with Deathloop and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you really enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell if to be alerted to every single Dot Trace upload if you want to be alerted to every single video and live stream. And upon that note, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. What, what's the name of that, uh, Paradiddle? Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.